What is popping people? Welcome back to the channel. Jim here. Welcome to the channel. We've got another round of the best of one locals. Yours on the right with the Zubamon and the Tiludamon in the back. And we got Black Base Gora double training. As neither of us want to commit a body to boars. Training, fine training. His neutral is so nice. And we're going to build the starter deck Jura just because when we do have to push out, I would like to try and push out with the least amount of memory. So neither of us really want to commit a body to boars, considering dropping a searcher. But, uh, nope. <laughs> Digimon Emperor, and straight back it goes with a memory setter. So now we're trying to play three cost body feels pretty bad. We are going to push out finally. I'm going to add the rookie back and then go into the blue Eludramon, hoping to try and find a body, but we're not going to find one. So down comes the Spadamon. I'm going to pitch off one of the Taunt. No, that makes no sense. going to pitch off a blue Eludramon and then. Uh, draw one, and then we're going to Regiludum onto Taunt an Empty Board in order to give us the protection that way. So, we've got opportunities here. I actually don't know if this was fully the best way of doing it, but... It is the way we've chosen to go. I'm going to load up the Kosuke from the field when pushing out, and we're going to draw the... Doruga late, so gonna draw it off the Evo off the Sephiroth, which is going to be taunting presumably the blue air. Down comes the Doruga, passing over to memory because it's over the wrong name. So we do get a little bit to do. Start of main, we're gonna take out I'm right, gonna take out the game one, which pushes up to three, so we're gonna take the Jura out and then we're going to swing. We are in D -D Duo realm, but he's actually bigger than us because we've got no DP inherit, so he's going to pop the Digimon Emperor, and then we're going to use the protection to keep ourselves safe. Rookie in the back, and then it looks like we're... Oh no, we do have the full lines. So we're going to go for the place here, which I think is the wrong decision, technically. And then, yeah, since we end up double taunting, I think the correct thing to do would have just been to... Raiji and then go for the uh, go for the mythical arms of salvation because you still achieve the taunt yeah sure memory efficiency but it'll be an extra turn of being able to do something and the SP Ragnar is going to full clear he does bring out the Kosuke because yeah he did not expect to stack to make it back to him which is the correct assumption Gonna take out the blocker source, going to double draw by paying one to load, and we'll go back up into Tia Ludamon as we start looking for pieces. Spend three, gain one, and we're gonna put these to the top to try and get another Digimon Emperor. I'm gonna swing in with no options, no tamers, which does find that fourth training in security. But it's gonna kill it off. I'm gonna put the Jura down and then just go for the uh, reboot. But at this point, we are fully non-protected. He's going to go into the Daruga to taunt the big boy, which makes sense. Actually, there's no protection on the Juramon, so it's going to taunt the Juramon to have it swing in, at least going to attempt to turn skip us from the looks of it. Pitches off the Mega Dramon with the Dex Daruga to pop the small body. I think we were just looking to see what was in trash. There's no decks in there, but what there is is uh, all his trainings now, which is quite funny. Going up into it with the proto form means as well if his stack gets answered, then he will get to heal, which is kind of annoying. And we're expecting a Gora here, but looking at his hand, it looks like we're missing it. Gonna slam the Gora, which puts us to four. And then because we have two stacks here at the start of main, we can actually boost ourselves up to six to take us outside of turn skip range. Personally, like taking the Raiji out makes the most sense. Because if we're going to get the Digivolve, you should try and save it. But we actually don't get the Digivolve, so we are just going to get uh, suspended and blocked. So what we are going to do is we're going to use the protection thing to go straight out into Tia Ludamon and we're not going to do anything else from that. Since we did get deleted though, he's going to get to play out an Airdramon and unfortunately there's no Marvin to get the Digivolt to try and like threaten a turn skip. We go Raiji here and then I really don't understand why we load the Raiji under this one not under the recurrable stack. 
and then we're going to have two reboot stacks, one with no protection, and one with, and then we are going to turn skip him. He is going to get the protoform to go to security and he's going to get some recursion, but yeah, I have absolutely no idea why I didn't put the Raiji back under it. We're going to put sec plus one and then we're going to swing raid. So it's going to burn the top card of security and then he's going to just go into the deck story, go from trash to prevent. So no piercing two checks there. Really, there was absolutely no reason to go for the raid in that instance. You would have gotten more damage out of just swinging where it was. I'm going to get that one check in and we do find a Marvin that way. And again, he has a coast case, so he's going to three. We're going to spend the Durandamon to get the deletion. I'm assuming we have a second Durandamon in hand. Past him three, he's going to go to four, staying in the back. We're going to play the Doriga. We're going to load the coast gate. Then we're going to proto up into the Darugamon, which. I'm assuming is going to taunt the Ragnar, which again, if we put this uh, protection slash taunt underneath the uh, Ragnar, we would have been able to recur it, which we just have not. So we're going to take the sec plus one inherit out. There's going to be no burn check or anything like that. I'm going to go into Dex Darugoramon, which is going to turn skip us by D Digivolving. It is going to be that five. Out comes the Kosuke end of turn. He's going to be going to three at the start of his. So, I turn skipped him, he turn skips me. Um, I'm just checking to see how many Ragnars are in trash, I think. One has been revealed, we're sitting on another. Obviously, the uh, one of the Durandas was put in the trash, we didn't recur it to hand. So, either it's a masterful bait, or we are indeed sitting on a second one. Gonna get the load up, and I thought for sure we were actually about to see the warp, because we are sitting on a level 6, but now we're just gonna see the taunt. Why would you engage when you can stay in? We had another Reggie Ludum on here, which is the most annoying thing about this whole stack getting cleared, is with two of them, like, we have two instances of protection. <clears throat> so, in theory, if we got hit by something like, uh, Collision, we'd be able to try and stay alive that way. I think we're down to six cards left in his deck as he has had to cycle back for a uh, Doru Greymon. And we're just going to pass him to one with the Eiji Nagasumi. And I'm just asking if he wants to end any mind He's going to take the Marvin back out. Swing start of main is going to turn into Dex Darugamon and then we're going to for three, gain two. Bottom deck three is we're digging for something. I'm gonna put one in the back. I think we're looking for our taunt to stop him from being able to decide his game actions. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so unfortunately, that place is not gonna be there. Gonna put that to the top of the five cards that are getting sent to the bottom, but I don't think we're gonna make it back to it. Has native reboot, so we don't have to worry about getting punched over straight away. We're down to four cards left in deck. Full suite of SOC tamers. I'm gonna pitch off a second Gora. But yeah, we're. He's pretty sure that the last Dorugre is in his deck, because it was revealed off a search really early on, down to three cards. Yeah, that's a deck Dorugre, but yeah, it's not ideal. We're gonna load up Dory Draw One. There's the actual Dorugre. But the problem is, at this point, it's too late. Because if he evolves into Dora Gray here, it takes him down to one. And if he does evolve on my turn, that's going to push him to zero. Now, unfortunately, there just is no way to fully get anything out of this. So we're going to swing, collision. Ooh, we're going to go for the alliance. So it's going to try and go massive, but we are going to make the second SP Ragnar. Big thank you to Tom and Vic for one birthday present, a second SP. So we get to do it in style as we're going to de-digivolve and delete the attacking body. And then we're going to go Kosuke and he's going to swing Collision. 
And we're gonna attempt to do it with the big guy is gonna turn into Dogoromon. So deck out is inevitable now. And we're just instead gonna make the big body because we can. We're gonna go into the deck story gray. We are still protected, so we're not gonna get the digivolved. Yeah, and that is going to be it. So yeah, the control matchup, very, really, really messy one. You know, neither of us really got what we wanted. We're missing some pieces, but it just kind of shows how scrappy and how you have to fight it out. If this was a best of three, we probably one of us would have just scooped early on and gone, ah, yeah, we just don't have it. Let's go next. But there is no next when it's best of one. So look forward to stuff like this from the Glasgow Regional, which is all going to be a best of one regional in October 12th. If you like what you saw and you do want to see more please hit the like button and subscribe double check that you are actually subscribed youtube sometimes recommends you videos a lot without letting you know that you're actually subscribed if today is your birthday then happy birthday and as always have yourselves a damn good one